Hi, my name is Rob Archibald. I'm the product manager for TigerCat Forwarders. Today I'm going to walk you around our forwarder models and talk about the features and benefits. TigerCat builds high capacity and durable forwarders. The machines handle a wide range of forwarding applications, excelling in challenging terrain and heavy duty load cycles. The 1055C is a 14 ton capacity forwarder designed for thinning, sensitive sites and used in selective or final felling applications. The 1075C with a 20 ton capacity is designed for high cycle forwarding and tough terrain and can be configured for scarifying. The 1075C has the most variety of options, something for nearly any forwarding job. The 1085C has a massive 25 ton capacity. It's made for rough ground with high tractive effort and for steep slope applications. TigerCat forwarders all share the same spacious and comfortable operator's cab. Excellent ergonomics, quiet climate control, and overall low in-cab noise keep the operator comfortable and productive during long shifts. The cab is insulated to reduce the heat load in the summer and improve heat retention in the winter. The insulation also helps make the cab quieter. Large windows and low sight lines give the operator excellent visibility to the wheels and the loading area. Sun visors and optional solar shades significantly add to operator comfort. The operator's seat has an air ride suspension and is fully adjustable. The seat rotates to face either the front or the rear of the machine and has an electric actuated friction lock to hold it in any desired rotation angle. The armrest controls automatically switch for direction when the seat is rotated to make it easy to operate the forwarder. Mounted to the armrest is a new touchscreen display with intuitive and easy access to everything the operator needs to know about the machine. All forwarders come with TigerCat's logon productivity and information system, which Wi-Fi connects to the operator's phone. Even operator and service information can be accessed through logon with Wi-Fi to a mobile phone. An optional remote log satellite data system is easily added to the cab for machine data access from anywhere the machine can operate. The unique design of the TigerCat hooked crane provides superior boom clearance for each gate and bunk configuration. It reduces the chance of contacting the gate or the stakes and increases the useful working area of the crane. In this view you can see the hooked feature of the main boom. You can also see the, uh, how the lights are mounted to the link and at the knuckle and then those lights always point towards the grapple which is very very important when working at night. For steep slope applications the 1085C is available with a tilting crane option. The base for the F195 T85 has the ability to tilt up to 25 degrees rearward to keep the pillar mostly vertical when working on slopes. TigerCat has a reputation for building strong gates and bunks on the forwarders and I'll walk you through some of the options. This particular forwarder has a low wide uh, bunk system on it and so the bunks are sloped higher at the back down towards the front. And that slope produces a few advantages. The first one is it slightly lowers the center of gravity of the load. And the second thing is it's easier for the operator to see the top of the load when he's arranging the logs and that improves the, uh, the cycle time. These bunks have uh, telescopic adjustable sides. This pin can be removed and, and you slide this out to change the, the width of the load space. And uh, here's the, the ramp lift on the back. You can see how much it's lifted at the back of the, of the forwarder. TigerCat gates have a low wide feature. So the lower gate gives more room for the boom arm to be uh, in the load space, it increases your workable load space. The gates are strong and there's a cushioning system built into the front side of the gates and uh, that allows for penciling loads against the gate and uh, increases the life of the gate system. On the front of every forwarder you'll find two recovery lugs securely mounted to the, to the engine frame. Each forwarder can be equipped with a blade and uh, the blade has access steps to get up into the cab. This forwarder has the ladder option and it's a hydraulically retractable ladder. On TigerCat forwarders, the operator can see where the blade is when it touches the ground. On many competing machines, the blade is not easily visible from the operator's seat. 
The engine hood tilts forward by releasing the latch and using the side handles. The spring assist makes lifting the hood easier, and once fully opened, it locks in place. This provides access to both sides of the engine and the entire engine compartment. On the left side of the engine, we have easy access to the def tank and the filler neck. And then here's the air cleaner and the fuel filters. The after treatment system can also be inspected here. And then just down below from the ground level, it's easy to access the uh, battery disconnect, the charging port and the fire suppression. TigerCat forwarders offer convenient access under the cab to the pumps, motors, and transmission. It's quick and easy to tilt the cab with a hand pump, but rarely necessary unless the machine requires significant service. The cab can be tilted by removing, loosening these bolts, sliding this bracket down, and rotating these cab tilt pins a quarter turn. In order to tilt the cab, you can open up this side access door to access the cab tilt pump and insert this handle into the pump to tilt the cab. In addition, inside this, this opening, we have uh, three grease fittings here to grease the steer cylinders and the input bearing on the bogey. There's also the transmission dipstick and the fill at this point as well. You can also see the back side of the bulkhead here for all the hoses that are going to go across the center joint. TigerCat has a reputation for strong center joints and the forwarders follow this trend. Here you can see a cast center joint with very large uh, double tapered roller bearings top and bottom for the articulation. And in addition to this, inside the wagon frame, we have double tapered roller bearings as well for the oscillation. And the location of them in the wagon frame adds to the stability of the, of the wagon uh, when, it's in, when it's in use. Here you can see the steering cylinders with large diameter pins. And in addition, here are the oscillation cylinders. And uh, there are two oscillation cylinders connected here to the wagon frame. And this adds stability to the wagon frame when you're using the crane. On the 1085 and the 1055, these are standard. And on the 1075, these cylinders are optional. On the front of the wagon frame, we have the fuel tank. You can easily open this door from the ground level and access the fuel fill, which is here. And then some machines have an optional electric fuel fill, which will be located in this area. Moving around to the rear of the machine, you'll see a work light and there's an optional rear view camera located over here on the other side of the pencil hook. And in this case, this is a 10 ton pencil hook that's uh, standard on all of our Tiger Cat forwarders. And if you do have the optional tethering frame, then there'll be two tethering lugs here and uh, they are t at uh, 21 tons. On the right side of the machine, near the center joint, we have this service panel, which can be easily removed. And inside this service panel are all the hydraulic valves for the machine. In addition to the valves, we have the uh, control system modules that are here. And what that does is allows easy access from the ground to adjust the machine and service it. Plus all of the electrical connections and hydraulic connections are from this location through these group of hoses over to the front of the machine. Then continuing on, we have the hydraulic tank mounted behind the cab. And you can see with this panel removed that we have easy access to the hydraulic filters for changing the filters. And uh, right in this bottom corner is a quick disconnect and that's for the um, hydraulic fill. There's an electric pump that can be used to fill the hydraulic system. And there are two switches up here. One is for a vacuum system and the other one is for the electric fill pump for the hydraulics. Located right on the side of the tank without removing anything is a sight glass and that's easily visible to tell if the uh, hydraulic level is where it should be in the tank. 
The drive system on all three models is strong for increased durability throughout the duty cycle, including optional configurations to meet your specific needs. On the 1075C and the 1085C, the long bogey arm allows the bogey to roll over bumps more gradually, reducing abrupt movement of the cab and lowering operator fatigue. Long bogey arms and the addition of tracks means lower ground pressure. All forward or bogey axles are equipped with friction clutch differential locks, which allow the operator to engage or disengage the differential locks while the machine is moving. The TigerCat wide range transmission is standard on the 1085C and optional on the 1075 or 55C. Wide range is an infinitely variable single speed transmission with two hydromotors, well proven in extreme applications. Thank you for joining me on this walk around of a TigerCat forwarder. For more information about TigerCat machines, please contact your TigerCat dealer.